All right, we're gonna have a fucking pretty solid discussion today. Um, this is definitely sort of like the, the the perfect crossing of inner game and outer game. Okay, um, and this is regarding a story that from one of my guys is actually last week. Um, but all of you guys fucking deal with this. This is a very advanced topic, and I don't think this gets talked about at all. I don't even think guys realize the impact of what this is. You might, they might have even read about it and just I'm not understanding the application of it. And I'm talking about the fact that um, pretty much all of my guys start focusing too much on trying to micro-control and uh, manage the girl that they're talking to or the girls that they're talking to like second by second by second or you know minute by minute or whatnot. Um, and they get a little bit pent up and, and tense and like like questioning themselves when the girls get distracted or you know evidence ADHD or they're just sort of like bouncing around and you know being energetic and just you know just doing other things besides giving her full attention to the guy that's trying to talk to her. Okay, um, and this is a bit of a scarcity mentality for sure. Okay, a little bit of an egoic type like oh why don't you pay attention to me you know um, and it's okay these little sort of like tiny narcissistic impulses or just whatever they're there, fuck it. Um, but as far as like game and seduction and whatnot, um, y'all are on the wrong page with that, okay? You guys have to understand that what the girls are doing, it's not just something that you can't stop. It's not that it's something that, that you can't prevent. It's actually natural. They are supposed to be doing that you are supposed to be doing that. Okay, and that's the point of this video, is that, you know, us guys, we're always trying to, you know, ping off the girl, see where she's at, does she like me, is this going well, where am I at, um, and you can't, you just can't be doing that on some sort of like micro level, okay? You need to be enjoying and pinging off the environment on your own, for your own, uh, doing your thing pretty much at all times, and the girl needs to see this and experience this, okay? If you, you know, R.C. Tyler would talk about my game and he described this aspect of it. And I was always, he, he sort of made it seem like it was a, just a strategy. And Tyler's one of those guys that's always sort of obsessing over every fucking detail. And there's always like that rat on the, on the spinning wheel trying to like control shit and manipulate and coerce, etc. And so he's just always like trying to micromanage fucking every little thing and not realizing that um, you have to, got to be able to entertain yourself and have your own narrative and stories and emotions and opinions going on with the environment around you, okay? You need to be doing the same thing that girls are doing. Not only is it high value, okay, but what does it say about you if you're just like stuck trying to like, like you're essentially saying that all your value only equals how much attention she's giving you, okay? Um, and like I said, that's a, it's a boyish, childish type vestigial psychological mechanism in place. Okay, probably stemming from like, you know, wanting your mom's attention or something. I don't mean to be disparaging, but you've got to sort of understand that like that's kind of where that stems from, okay? Um, when in actuality, seduction, okay, being a charismatic, awesome, leading, dominant male means that you're going to get distracted yourself and have your own ongoing source of entertainment from the environment. In fact, you should be better at it than the girls. Duh, what do you think we're doing here, okay? I am always, like I might be talking to a girl or a couple of girls or I'm hanging out with a group, but I have my own stuff going on. This keeps me entertained, uh, distracted. It means that I'm not singularly focusing on one particular girl's situation and, and, and getting fraught over it, okay? And in so doing, you are giving the best picture of who you are to the girl, girls, to everybody, okay? So you've got to have your own narrative going on. You've got to be expressive enough and not just like fo focused and centered and, and turned in on, on her. So you're just like, oh, uh, what's she doing now? And it's like, you're, that sucks. Okay, clearly that's not the picture of manhood that you want to be portraying, okay? Talk to you a little bit, have a good time, blah, blah and then be doing something else, okay? There are plenty of girls out there that, that take that one step farther and they want to see you interacting with other women, okay? It's more specifically, they want to see other women kind of being turned on by you or, or, or liking you, 
Okay, uh, and, and if you're a, a seductive dude, that should sort of be a, a bit of a, uh, an easygoing process for you. You should be able to step away from the girl you're talking to, mingle with somebody else, other people, and she can clearly see that they're enjoying your presence and such, okay? Uh, clearly this is more advanced, okay? A lot of intermediate guys get stuck, um, you know, just being present, bro, and just like staring people down like, long eye contact and they just they, you know it's like and so they never reach that level of self-expression to where they are just creating their own environment so to speak uh, and then of course beginners hear something like this and they're like I could barely talk at all blah 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 if, if you want to fix this join my tank training program it is the best resource out there bar none okay but just understand that on a meta level that's the skill set that's the level you're attempting to achieve okay a lot of amazing things come from that, straight up, okay? Doesn't matter where you're at, nothing can hold you back because you're not singularly focused on it. Think about what this, how this applies itself to like business interviews, okay? I've walked into a, 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 a fishbowl where I, it's just me and there's like an entire panel of like, you know, like six or seven VPs or whatnot, or, or I'm in a, a you know, the, the, the courtroom, okay? Or even, you know, police situations where because I am not so like sucked into this, I'm not getting pent up or, or tense or frustrated because I'm still doing my thing. I'm still doing what I want to do. I'm still on my path. This is, this is really truly the definition of unreactivity, okay? And most guys think it's like some form of being passive, right? Which is complete fucking nonsense. Or it's like, and they think that's being unreactive. That's stupid, okay? It's the opposite of that. Be on your own track, doing your own thing, motherfucker, at all times. Cool.